Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you about angiosperms. Let's botanize. So you've heard us say something like this before, but angiosperms, or flowering plants, are one of the five major lineages of land plants. In fact, of the five major lineages, it's the flowering plants that are by far the most diverse. However, this diversity is not evenly distributed across this lineage, but rather concentrated in certain hyper-diverse families. In the future, we're going to be spending a lot more time on the flowering plants, but today we're just going to introduce some of the main groups. So the first major division in the flowering plants is between what we call the anagrade and everything else. This group consists of lineages that are relatively species to pauperate and primarily found in the paleotropics. They include the iconic Amborella, the water lilies, and a strange order called the Austrobaliales. The second major division in the flowering plants is between what we call the magnoliids and everything else. This lineage includes things like your classic magnolia flower, but also some economically important groups like cinnamon, avocados, and black pepper. The final division in the flowering plants is between the monocots and the eudicots. The monocots are a diverse group of plants that include the grasses, the orchids, and the lilies. They are readily identifiable by their strap-shaped leaves and parallel venation. This is also an economically important group because it contains most of our agricultural crops, including wheat, corn, and rice. Finally, the eudicots include most of your broad-leaved flowering plants. They also house some of the most diverse flowering plant lineages, including the mints, the sunflowers, and the beans. They also include a number of economically important plants, like most of the fleshy and sweet fruits that we eat, like cherries, apples, and blueberries. We'll dive into all of these groups in much more detail in future videos.